it's Paris Fashion Week again. It mm-hmm. is. Mm-hmm. So one of the stories that popped out was um, Quavo and Chris Brown yeah. were seated next to each other at a fashion show. Mm-hmm. That's so, what I So, yeah, the picture went around. So a lot of people started commending Chris Brown. Like, they all shout to the growth because they had static. Mm-hmm. Well, they had static around you keep up. Can't what, what, keep up. What do two men usually have static over? C and C. Difference of opinions. Coochie and cash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, dog. One of the two. One of the two gonna bring the beef out. Which yo, one? Hey. Whoa. <laughs> yo, okay. Oh, yo. Oh. Hey, yo. And we bring the and beef they, out, and too. They, and right? they might and, bring and, the yeah, beef yeah, out. Yeah, 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 yeah. So evidently they beefing over a woman. Well, what was funny because Chris Brown saw all of this and responded to it and was like, hey, hey hold up. Ain't no growth. I couldn't pick I can't, my seat. I couldn't pick my seat. They put me here, and I ain't about to fuck my bag up because of this little nigga. Shout mm-hmm. out to two niggas from the hood coming together and not fucking the bag. Right, you dude. gotta love it. Gotta, gotta, love, gotta it. love it. I love that shit. And it's all right to say just because you see. I, I wish more people do that. Yo, yeah. just because you saw me, well, we knocked tight, nigga. But there was money at play, and I'm not about to fuck this bag. I wonder up. if their legs was touching pause. Like, <laughs> yeah. you, know, you know, when you sit close to a nigga, your leg be touching. Nah, I want, nah. I looked, I zoomed in nah. to see which, if the, if the bag, because you could tell they their legs was close. They was nigga. They the, were sitting right. No, the, they was like no. There wasn't even that much space between us. If the leg was touching the six figures, seven. Seven yeah, figures. Seven, seven, <laughs> the legs seven, was seven, touching. Because that's like when you heard the story about Fifty and Ja Rule sitting in the same aisle on the plane. Certain shit, you just gotta. Yeah, they don't help with you get with, it shaking you on get that plane. What we'll come with that? Exactly, no flawless. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I want even even that. I, I want to be there. I wonder what nigga was saying. I wonder if nigga Fifth was watching some shit like this. <laughs> <laughs> he said Ja was looking straight. I just wanted the energy on them. Accidentally shit. take your headphone yeah. out. And you're just you just know you're playing. You know you can't fight on a plane. No, hell no. Going down, they, they confiscating everything. And wherever they was going, they might have been going to get another big big bag. True. In route. True. Probably. True. So, no. Yeah, you got you got to. You know what? So we professionalism. Humbling yourself for the bag is important. Absolutely. Hell yeah. Yeah. Some no people need to learn it. Because niggas grown. are gonna fuck the bag up. Yeah, we grown. But don't say and Chris and Chris Brown can't afford no more negative press. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. We in a in a whole different country. I might mm-hmm. be going on an international tour soon. I don't need I, none I don't of that. Want shit. No problem. And and he know y'all just waiting for me to even look wrong. True. Y'all can't wait for it. So y'all can't wait to me just have a fucked up look on my face and here it go so nope who, who they beefing over word on we, the street is it still over they had like a fight at like BET Awards over Karuchi so this is apparently long standing beef I can see I can see that nigga throw Look, me in that beef pause word no, sorry. No. no. Sorry. I can't do it. It's but promising. I'm just saying, she fire. Yeah, she, she, she is. She is. She's, She's nice. nice. Cer- certain ones you see and you say, I get it. I get it. Yeah. I get it. I understand. Mm-hmm. No, Joe Biden.